this is really just studying the governor's effects or the effects of our pre-K program. And this is not just the first study, this is the second study that said the exact same thing. No positive results. Most of the studies talking about similar programs in other states, if you look at Georgia, they're, they're really cutting back on their pre-K because they're saying the same thing. No long-term effects. And, and you know, if we're going to spend money on something, I want something that's going to have a positive long-term effect. I think if you're going to spend that same amount of money, if you spent that same amount of money in, in K through 12 or even higher ed, you might have a better result of people getting getting through high school or maybe getting to and through college. I think we need to put our money where you're going to get the most bang for the buck. And according to the governor's own study, it's not in pre-K. Do you have a plan on where you and specifically where you'd like to put that money if we did close down pre-K? I like to, you know, personally, I'd like to spend it more on K through 12 education. Uh, getting it into the actual classroom, not in administration so much. That's one issue we have in Knoxville where we have a huge administration. I like it to K through 12 in the classroom. I think we'll get a, a much better bang for our buck.